hello everyone welcome again to easy media youtube channel this video is gonna show you exactly how i fixed the crashed drone that i bought from an auction house and here you see here's the box is the mini 2 and it seems like the the previous owner of this drone didn't even use it for more than a day so you see it comes with a box and the bag all the accessories are presumed to be inside like you're gonna see the handle is still taped with the paper that came with the with the box in brand new box so the there you have the accessories the controller looks pretty clean like you see on the screen and everything looks really in place the drone it crashed and there you, you're gonna see all the damage done to the drone and here you have all the paperwork and you look at the bag the bag looks pretty clean so there the drone the controller and the battery in there with the accessories and the paperwork so here you're gonna see the battery charger and it comes it actually I bought it with two batteries so maybe the owner crashed with the other battery and he missed, lost the battery in the process I don't know so here the controller is and here's the battery charger with the two batteries inside everything looks pretty new and um, it seems like he didn't even use the other two batteries so here's the drone and the, the strap everything looks pretty clean um, you have the the damaged areas on the drone like you see on the body so this repair is gonna show you uh, the damage that's the the left front arm is broken so I need to replace that then the shell looks cracked all along everywhere on the back on the side that means the front sh the top shell needs to be changed and the bottom shell looks cracked over there like you see so the bottom shell is gonna uh, be changed also so that's gonna be like three different things that we've discovered that needs to be repaired the, the gimbal looks broken and it's pretty bad so we need to uh, find a way to replace the gimbal or fix it so you see the bottom legs on the gimbal is broken um, I don't know how that's gonna be fixed but let's see we're gonna take everything apart and see how we can fix that so here I'm gonna check what's really the, the problem uh, currently on the drone I'm gonna put the battery in like you see on the screen and it's gonna start everything looks well the gimbal moved the controller is fine and like I said it seems the owner didn't really use this drone more than once before he crashed it and sold it so here I'm gonna bring in the information there it says uh, firmware downloaded installed so that's basically saying that he never used this drone more than once like I said so you see that it says incompatible gimbal preparing to take off it's not gonna take off because gimbal is broken so incompatible gimbal data and I'm gonna show you exactly how many errors this have so first there you have the gimbal unable to connect repairs required contact DJI support for assistance hmm. interesting so the next one is the IMU initializing third one the GPS uh, signal weak and no GPS signal unable to hover so basically that's uh another one but it's a good thing that the, G the gps didn't show navigation error that means the gps module is working fine so if you see like i did in my previous videos for the dji mini 2 repair <clears throat> whenever you have the navigation error it means that your gps module is faulty here you have the gimbal see the damage done to the gimbal that means this guy had a head-to-head -head collision with the drone which cracked up the gimbal here are the new parts that i've ordered that i bought uh, so that's the top shell that's gonna be removed and replaced with this new one and second we have the bottom shell which you see uh, i'm gonna leave description how you can get this uh, parts for the dji mini 2 that's the bottom shell and also the gimbal is damaged so i ordered for it gimbal flex and the uh, right the left uh, front arm and also the gimbal rubbers so basically that's all the parts i'm gonna put a breakdown of how much it costs to get this parts and how much it really costs to fix this drone if it's worth it if it's not worth it so first of all you know the drill you take out the propellers first and uh, i'm just gonna speed up this video so you can actually follow the steps on my previous video on how to fix a dji mini 2 thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys at interval when i need to point something out to you on this repair so here you see that's the inside the gps module is fine i'm just gonna take out the uh, gimbal and show you exactly how it's done so follow up and i'll see you later
so here you see the gimbal the bottom leg one side of it is broken off just like you see there on the screen I'm just gonna show you I use the Gorilla Glue which is the super glue the Gorilla Glue it's very good that's what I used and I thought of instead of spending about $250 uh, for buying a new gimbal I rather just use a $3 Gorilla Glue to fix this and that's what I did so you see there everything looks firm it's really pretty strong and that's how we're gonna try to see if the gimbal works with that so <clears throat> keep watching guys so as you can see that's the last piece of part that was left in the old shell I've uh, taken up all the parts from the old shell and I have all the replacement parts right there on the desk so you see I'm gonna um, skip the part where I put all the parts together for the new shell I'm gonna leave uh, a link at the top right corner there where you can actually click to see how to fix this parts properly on the, on the new shell and we're just gonna go right straight to after the sh after all the parts are connected on the shell so here you have it on screen here everything is lined up I'm gonna do a quick test to see if the drone is gonna start and there you go so right there on the screen you see the errors in the beginning is not there anymore, the drone is fine, the blades are on, the, the aircraft is on right now and it just says uh, incompatible firmware so we need to update the firmware and that's simple, all we need to do is go back to the um, ma main screen and you're gonna see the install there. So basically everything is fine, we don't have those errors anymore and I'm, not, I'm just going to do the installation for the firmware and that's it. So good, everything seems working well. I'm gonna try to fly this in the room here in the living in my living room and see how it works. So here we go. Awesome, it really worked well. I'm surprised how the gimbal still works with the super glue that I used. I'm gonna show you that after landing this drone. Everything seems working perfectly well right now. The, there's no navigation issue, there's no gimbal stock error anymore because all the parts are properly changed and uh, the gimbal flex was totally broken, that is fixed. And there you see, the drone is back to brand new. New parts, new, new everything except the gimbal that was um, uh, it's glued and there, there you have it on the desk pretty nice everything is functioning well I'm just gonna close and seal the the top shell back first of all turn off the drone to make sure everything turns off pretty well and there you go here is the new drone take out the batteries everything works perfectly well guys so I tell you this if you have a crash drone and you're thinking of sending it to DJI don't do that just Try to get the parts yourself and fix it. So basically what I'm doing here now is blowing out any dust particles from the gimbal and from the drone itself since everything was changed properly and I'm just gonna keep a clean drone by blowing out all the uh, any dust or particles in there and I'm gonna seal uh, screw back the top shell as you see everything works well. I'm gonna put back the four screws and there you go. just to make sure everything is still in good uh, shape I'm gonna put back the battery and see if it's gonna turn on yes everything turned on the drone is back on I'm gonna do another quick start to see if the propellers if the drone actually turns on so here we go yeah everything looks fine the gimbal is fine the propellers are working drone starts again and we're good to go so this is a beautiful fix and I kind of like it because now I'm gonna just look out for some crash drones and see the ones that are uh, basically easy to fix and uh, I'm gonna do this go out there buying the crash drones 
and see how it works so there you go see the the glue where the leg was actually broken that I glued and everything looks fine that's gonna hold for a long time ex um, and I'm, except I'm gonna somehow crash the drone but I think everything pretty everything is pretty well at this point and I'm gonna take out this sticker and you see there it's a brand new drone so I'm gonna turn off the drone close the the arms and there you go the drone is back brand new and here the, this is the old shell that we changed the broken one the front the top and the bottom shell there you see the damage the reason why I changed it I should I would have glued that just to uh, keep the parts and spend less but trust me guys it's really worth it to change the spots and uh, there you have the left um, front arm that was broken this one is unfixable you can't you can't just do without replacing this one so there you have it right there that's the new one as regards to the old one that was broken and here are the gimbal rubbers I always make sure anytime I fix my drone I change the rubbers and that's the gorilla glue that I used this gorilla glue will glue anything on the mini 2 so thank you guys for watching and I wish you guys a wonderful time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video